a zero, so he's not getting hurt. Well, he's not going into that hurt. There we go, we got a one. So if I hit him again when he's in that hurt state. So today I want to work on getting this initial boss fight with the main boss uh, completed. At the moment, you can see if he hits me, I take damage. It goes into some various different attack states. I can't do any damage to him. And uh, if he does manage to hit me, I bounce off at a random angle. If I'm dash rolling when he attacks, I can't be hit. So let's have a look at the event sheet that controls that. So at the moment on start of layout, we're pinning the boss's shadow. The boss has a bunch of states, such as idle, chase, attack one, attack two, A, B, stunned, and boast. You can see here when he swipes at me, if I'm moving, he will still keep moving towards me, but won't be walking in the, uh, well, he'll just be sliding effectively. So what I want to do first is stop that. So that attack there, where he swipes is attack one. I don't want him to be walking when he's doing that. So what we need to do is if state E is equal to attack one, then we need to disable this move too. So we're gonna say, oh, not bad guy. We're gonna say boss man, and we're gonna say move to, move to stop. So now, hopefully when he goes to swing at me, yeah, he'll just stop, stand still which is much better. It gives me a chance to get out of the way. Okay, now we need to be able to do damage to the boss. So we've got the states already set up here for stunned. So the two damage states are stunned and hurt. Stunned is when he's out of action, you actually knock him down on his backside and he sits there and shakes his head. And then hurt is just a temporary knockback state. So we've got this group that handles the boss damage and we've got the first initial event that says when the boss man collides with the attack box which is the attack box the player spawns when he attacks. That's basically a little red square here, this one here attack box and when the player attacks I spawn this red square right at the end of his fists and his feet for a split second and then make it disappear. But if that thing there collides with the boss and the player animation is not equal to attack three, um, which basically is the kick animation. So let me just go back. The uh, player's got two, uh, three attacks, uh, punch one, punch two, and then a kick. So I want to be able to knock the boss down, so stunned, where he falls on his backside, if we hit him with a kick, which is attack three. If we hit him with either punch, I just want him to go into hurt. Uh, that will mean that timing those three hit combos is going to pay off. It's going to do uh, more damage to the boss. So if we're not playing the kick animation, which is attack three, then we're going to enable the fog exponential effect that I have on him. Uh, we're going to slow him down for 0.5, so 50% he's going to reduce the speed by, and we're going to set his state to hurt uh, and that's only going to happen if the boss man state is not already hurt because we don't want him just infinitely going through hurt and it's also not going to happen if he's in stunned and he's sat down if the player is in the attack three animation so he is doing the kick when that collision box hits him we're going to set his if he's not already set to stunned we are going to set him to stunned we're going to display the fog exponential slow him down and then we're going to wait 0.2 seconds set his time scale back to one and then we're going to disable the fog exponential effect so now we've got a way to hurt the boss i can eventually get him to sit down on his butt uh, what i want to do now before i finish off is make it so that he tweens you know like the player does like when the player gets hit so when the player gets hit, he slides off out of the way. I want the same thing to happen when we hit the boss into his sitting down on his butt animation. So let's go ahead and make that happen. And that's going to be the X, and the end value is going to be the self, which is where he currently is. I'm going to copy that out, and we're going to change that little minus to a plus. And then hopefully, if I can stun him this way, he goes back that way. Perfect. 
thanks for watching if you made it this far um, if you like this format of devlog then uh, do me a favor and drop a comment let me know you like it if you prefer the general kind of overview of things where I don't go too much into what I'm doing behind the scenes let me know as well but again thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one and as always a massive thank you and a shout out to my wonderful patreon subscribers Foozle CC, Retro Galaxy, Olivia, Bernie, Amari Lewis, Enmark Games, Jess Matt, Tor, Hammock, Alexanderson, Rob, Martin K, Julian Cruz, Ralson Gonzalo, 8-Bit Gamer, Davey Wagner up, John Allegreza and James Kurtzbell. Thanks for supporting the game dev journey. If you want to find out more about what's on offer on the Patreon, there's a link in the description.